So one of your objectives here for this particular video is to create a collection of your own. So I would recommend before you get started to maybe have a YouTube video or a website link or even maybe a PDF that you'd like to bring in. So I have a couple tabs of those resources here. And then I'm just going to go to my home and then click create a new collection. So this is going to be yours to send out to whoever you'd like. So if I click the add a cover, this is just a, you know, whimsical per se. It'll just give you some images. You could also do a search. I'll just say technology. And it'll give you some different uh, images if you'd like. And when you pull that in, you can decide, do you want to, um, I like to go half a cover because it, it makes it really big. And I'll just call this a dangerous collection. Let's see you that open this this will make sure people open it right and i can also up here notice i can change it to uh, private so it's just for me i can do unlisted so only people that i share it with and public i'm going to go um, unlisted because if i choose public it could go out into the community so anybody could see it so i'm just going to click unlisted so that'll just keep it to me and I'm going to add, first of all, a website. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add the Pine Valley web page. And I'm just going to paste a URL. Okay, that's as, about as clean and easy as you can go. You can always edit it. You can always delete it later. And sometimes if an image doesn't show up, you can always choose an image from their library as well. Sometimes that does not work. So just be careful about that. So I can upload an image. Let's just do that. So lots of, you know, clean, easy functionality that you can do here. I can also notice I can add any of these other options here. So I can add text if I want to create some dividers. I can add a YouTube video, which I'll show in just a minute. I can do tweets, but obviously those will be probably blocked within a school setting. You can add other bookmarks. You can add pictures. So if you want to bring in a picture, you can do that. You can upload a PDF. And then you have your Google Drive and OneDrive as well, so you can bring in anything. And lastly, you can bring in a Flipgrid video if you'd like to do that, if you're familiar with Flipgrid. I'm just going to choose really these two options. So I'm gonna, my next thing I'm going to choose is a YouTube video. And I could just search it, or I could paste in. I'm just going to copy and paste this and just do a search that way. How to use Microsoft Sway. And I'm going to click Add That. So again, that'll embed the YouTube video. And the great thing about bringing in YouTube videos like this is it'll get rid of the distractors. So you'll notice I can move these um, resources up and down, lots of different options. I can even change the layout. Um, one of my favorites is the mood board. That makes it like kind of a Pinterest board, if you're familiar with that. But I can choose grid view whatever kind of style you'd like. There's lots of really great options. And then when you're done, first of all, you can invite others if you want to have it as a shared board. But when you're finished, and remember I left it as unlisted, I can just go here and I can share the link, either copy this or I can just go right up to the top here and copy this link and then send it to somebody and other people will see it. Or I could send it to Microsoft Teams, um, you know, Remind, so I could send these resources through other avenues as well. Clean, easy, straightforward.